Good Monday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. In today's forecast package, I will be tracking a possible crippling blizzard across the Midwest and the Western Great Lakes, followed by a true Arctic air mass as it spills from Canada all the way to the Gulf of Mexico as we head towards this upcoming Christmas holiday weekend. If you guys are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast content here on on this channel including Canada, the United States and the tropics with everything in between. Hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates here on this channel. So looking here this morning at the visible satellite imagery, we got two systems we're talking about. We got our snow system up to the north across the upper Midwest and the northern plains and then we got a rain system farther to the south bringing some lighter to moderate rainfall at times with some thunderstorms across portions of East Texas and the deep south later on today. So let's track both these systems here. We got some lighter snowfall breaking out across Montana, the Dakotas getting into Minnesota, all the way down here through Iowa, northern Missouri, and parts of Illinois as we head through the day today into this afternoon. And then across portions there of East Texas, getting through the Arklatex and much of the deep south here towards Mississippi. That's where we're going to see some light to moderate rainfall with some embedded thunderstorms in there as we head towards later on this afternoon and in this evening. But looking up to the north with all that snowfall, it's going to be pretty cold across the northern plains and the upper Midwest with some single digit high temperatures, even single digit below zero high temperatures across parts there of Montana, the North Dakota region, and then getting back down into parts of South Dakota. Dakota as well. Those milder temperatures to the south here across the southern plains and the Arklatex will support all liquid rainfall across those areas with some chillier rains with the 40s and 50s out there across those areas. So let's track both these systems here. This is the noon time frame here at 18Z Monday, December 19th. You can see here some flurries and snowfall breaking out here up to the north. Again, some nuisance type snows. We're not going to see any big snows from this system. And again, the light to moderate rainfall, some embedded thunderstorms across East Texas, getting into southern Arkansas, Louisiana, and West Western portions of Mississippi. That'll all spread to the east here, including portions of south central Alabama, western Georgia here as we get into the evening hours. And then all that snowfall here with the lighter accumulations can be found across southwestern portions of Ontario, down through portions there of Minnesota, western Wisconsin, and northeastern Iowa going into the evening hours. And then again, that will continue to spread its way off to the east with both these systems as we head into Tuesday morning. But looking on the snowfall side of this up to the north, it's not going to be a big snow. We're just going to see kind of a nuisance type of snow event with less than an inch of snow across many of these areas from Wisconsin through central Iowa, getting maybe down toward the Kansas City area, maybe up to two inches of snow across North Dakota, getting into northern Minnesota there in the UP of Michigan, maybe uh, some shovels here breaking out across those areas. But other than that, we're not really talking about any significant snow in the next 24 to 48 hours across those areas. If you guys are still with me here in the video, would definitely appreciate if you guys would hit the like button down below. I definitely appreciate all the likes out there. It just helps get more of this information out to more and more people here. So I definitely appreciate that, guys. So thank you so, so much. But yeah, looking as we get into early this week on Tuesday, December 20th, we're going to be starting to spill all the Arctic air farther south into the upper Midwest, the Northern Plains, and much of Western Canada during that time frame. And that will even continue as we start the first full day of winter on Wednesday, December 21st. Again, pulling some of this true Arctic air farther south and supporting some more snowfall potential across the Northern United States going in towards the middle of this week. So looking here on Tuesday, December 20th, tomorrow, these are your high temperatures across the United States. We got double digit below zero high temps across portions of Montana, getting across the Dakota in western Minnesota here. Up into south southern and southwestern Canada, we have double digit below zero high temperatures of near 15 to 25, even 30 degrees below zero with those high temperatures across British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and then getting over here towards Manitoba. And then those milder temperatures here across the deep south and the Tennessee Valley going into tomorrow. Looking at those windshield values tomorrow, going to be extremely cold across the northern plains, the upper Midwest, and all of the southern Canadian 
provinces here with wind chills ranging from 25 to nearly 35 degrees below zero here with some wind chill advisories probably across portions of the upper Midwest here and especially the Dakotas and Montana as we head towards Tuesday afternoon. Going into Wednesday here, not much better. In fact, getting a little bit colder. Those double digit high temperatures starting to sneak a little bit farther south towards the upper Midwest here on your Wednesday to start the first full day of winter. But again, we have those milder temperatures, relatively speaking, farther south here ahead of this Arctic chill from Texas all the way here into the Tennessee Valley and the Mid-Atlantic um, as we get into the day on Wednesday. Those wind chill values on Wednesday will be dropping back to 25 to 35 degrees below zero across, again, those same areas through the Dakotas, Minnesota, Montana, and all of southern Canada as we get through the day on Wednesday. But then the attention turns to potentially a crippling blizzard across the Midwest and the Great Lakes going in towards late this week, and the origin of the system will start across the Pacific Northwest here with some winter storm watches, some winter weather advisories, and a small pocket here of the winter storm warnings across those upper elevations of northwestern Montana. Later on today, you can see that system starting to take shape as we head through the day today, and then going into Tuesday across the Pacific Northwest, bringing some upper elevation snows across portions of Washington State, Idaho, getting into western Montana, and getting back here into portions of Wyoming here as well. That will spread eastward across portions of Montana, Wyoming, getting across the Dakotas into Nebraska and western Iowa and even Minnesota as we head through the day on Wednesday through the middle of this week. Looking at the snowfall amounts towards the middle of this week again during that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame does look like some heavier mountain snows can be expected, especially in those higher elevations there in Montana, northern Idaho, western portions of Wyoming, and then getting up to those higher elevations in Washington and Oregon State as well. Maybe a one to three inch snow event across South Dakota northeastern Nebraska and northwestern Iowa here as well, going in towards that Wednesday time frame. But then looking here toward late this week, going into Thursday, we got a stripe of some very heavy snowfall here from northeastern Oklahoma all the way up here into the Great Lakes. And that looks to be our crippling blizzard as we head towards the late portion of this week. That will spread across much of the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, and western portions of New England going through the day on Friday before exiting here into the eastern Canadian provinces going through this upcoming week on Saturday. So looking at this trough, it's going to be digging down across much of the Rockies and the Central Plains going through the morning hours on your Thursday, and that's the start of our storm system. That's going to be here moving all of that cold air farther to the south, all the way to the Texas Panhandle and to northwest Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas through the day on Thursday on the back side of this system here much of the Rockies will be seeing temperatures 20 30 even 40 degrees below average across these areas going into Thursday and then that system rapidly deepens across portions of the Missouri Valley and Illinois Valley as it moves up into southern Illinois by the time we get into Friday morning and then looking at that on Friday these temperatures will be diving back down all the way to the northern Mexico and the Gulf Coast with those below average temperatures by by the time we get into Friday, December 23rd, later on this week. And then that low pressure system will rapidly deepen as it pushes up into the central and eastern Great Lakes, getting in through the day on Saturday, Christmas Eve. So looking at this system here with the vorticity signature, this is going to be a pretty uh, significant event, I do think, across portions of the Midwest, the western and central Great Lakes, and then on up here into Ontario and Quebec, Canada, as we get towards late this week and this upcoming Christmas holiday weekend. And you can definitely see the heavy snows breaking out across Nebraska, western and central Iowa, northern Missouri getting back, especially here into Kansas, and potentially even the panhandle of Texas. I can't rule out any snow there going into the morning hours on Thursday. We got that Texas hook low pressure system starting to develop across those areas near Amarillo with a 1,007 millibar low across that area on Thursday morning. That'll spread its way up toward the Illinois and Missouri Valley here with some heavy snowfall on the backside across much of Michigan. Michigan, Wisconsin, Iowa, getting into southeastern Minnesota, north central Missouri, and into western and northern Illinois with a strengthening 994 millibar low at that time. We got some heavier rains breaking out of the warm side of this system going into your Thursday evening. And then going into Friday, through the entirety of the day on Friday, it looks like blizzard conditions across much of the western Great Lakes here, across Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, getting into northeastern Missouri, much of Illinois, and even 
portions there of Michigan getting up into southern Ontario as well with those blizzard-like conditions as a 979 millibar low really strengthens and cranks up here with all that cold air on the back side. A very strong high-pressure system, a true Arctic air mass on the back side as well, helping to tighten those isobars up with those very strong wind gusts here as well. And then that'll push its way up into Ontario going in through the day on Saturday, Christmas Eve as a 970 millibar low with some heavy snow is continuing across Michigan, the upper peninsula of Michigan, getting into Ontario and even Quebec, Canada. And then we got some rainfall and maybe even some thunderstorms across portions of Maine, getting all the way down into the outer edge there of the Cape Cod as we get towards Saturday morning. And then as we get into the day on Sunday for Christmas Day, looks like that system will start to move out. And then that high pressure system takes over as that real Arctic chill takes across much of the country going in towards Christmas Day and even really beyond in towards the next time, the next week time frame as well. So taking a look at the early estimates here from some of the models, the more consistent models of late um, across these areas, it looks like the GFS model is actually hinting at a pretty prolific snowfall event here across portions of Michigan, getting through the entire state of Wisconsin, much of Iowa, northeastern Missouri, and really into Illinois here with the bullseye of the snowfall on this model, potentially up to near two feet. So we'll continue to watch that here. Um, looking at the GFS Ensemble, the GEFS model, that also supports a very heavy and prolific snow event across much of Wisconsin, Michigan, Ontario, all the way back through Iowa, northern Illinois, northern Missouri, and even back into Nebraska and Kansas as well with that swath of heavy snow. And then looking at the GDPS model, a Canadian model, again, fairly decent placement here and similarity to the GFS model with the heavy snows and the maroon colors here. You can see 12 plus inches of snow near the Chicago area, getting up through Milwaukee, Green Bay, and then over there towards Madison, Wisconsin, and Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin here as well towards that time frame. So looking here at the golden path for a very heavy snow, if you live here across Chicago, Green Bay, Milwaukee, back toward Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, um, Des Moines all these areas here, if you want a very heavy snow, this is the golden path for a low pressure system. And I do think it'll take that path from Northwest Texas and the Texas Panhandle all the way through the lower Missouri Valley and up through the central Great Lakes. We got the heavier snow on the Northwestern and Western side of the system, and then the heavier rain and some thunderstorms on the Southeastern side of the system. I'm not too terribly concerned about severe weather necessarily with this system. I think the biggest threat from the system is gonna be definitely by far those whiteout conditions the heavy snow and the blizzard here on the backside across the Midwest and the Western Great Lakes. Again, now is the time to prepare for an emergency supply kit. If you do have to travel, travel is highly, highly not advised across these areas that I was just showing you across the Midwest and Western Great Lakes from Wednesday night through Friday evening. Um, but if you do have to travel, pack an emergency supply kit here, like non-perishable food items with a can opener, bottled water here, a first aid kit, your medicine here if you have to go out as well, um, flashlights, spare batteries with a battery-operated radio, extra clothing, bring more scarves, bring more um, coats and gloves and snow pants and stuff like that here to stay warm. And again, that will help you out in the long run here if you do have to, you know, happen to get stranded in those those blizzard conditions. But like I said, on the back side of the system, it's going to be a true Arctic air mass as it drops south into the central and southern plains through the day on Thursday. Look at how strong this cold front is, guys. Into the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex, we could be in the upper 50s to near 60 degrees Thursday afternoon. And then on the other side of the state here into the Amarillo area, we'll be in the single digits, guys, at the very same time Thursday afternoon. So this is a powerful cold front, and that's that system that's going to be driving up through that cold front here and in toward the Great Lakes. That's why it's going to be strengthening so quickly. And then as we get into Thursday afternoon time frame, those windshield values will be dropping to negative 25 to negative 40 plus below zero across much of the Rockies, getting down through portions of the central and northern plains, the upper Midwest, all of southern Canada, and then those below zero windshields here, negative 21 degrees below zero potentially in Amarillo, Texas here, while Dallas here is seeing 50s to even 60s at that time Thursday afternoon noon and then going into the day on Friday here that all moves to the south to the Gulf Coast here and into the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys 
We have high temperatures across places like Kentucky, Tennessee, getting down here into portions of the Arklatex, Oklahoma, the panhandle of Texas, in the teens, if not the single digits. We got double digits and single digit below high temperature, below zero high temperatures across the upper Midwest, the northern plains, and all of southern Canada there on Friday afternoon. Factoring in the wind chill here, yeah, it's going to be 25 to 40 degrees below zero across much of the same areas there from Minnesota down through Iowa, much of the Dakotas getting into Nebraska, even double digit below zero uh, wind chills down into Missouri, Kansas, even getting into Southern Illinois and Western Kentucky during that time frame. So that will be something to keep an eye on. But then going into Christmas Day itself here, these are your high temperatures you can look out for on Christmas Day. Again, some of these temperatures might be conservative depending on the snowpack across the Midwest and the Western Great Lakes. Some of these temperatures could definitely be below zero here depending on how deep that snowpack is. But just generally speaking, some single digits above above or below zero across the Midwest and the Western Great Lakes on Sunday, December 25th, Christmas Day. And then again, across New England here, some uh, teens and 20s across those areas. All the way south towards the Gulf Coast states will be near freezing here across the lower middle 30s across portions of Mis uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and then getting it back into Texas here with those 30s and 40s. The milder temperatures, relatively speaking, will be across Southern Arizona and uh, California during that time frame, and even South Florida here on on Christmas Day itself. But factoring in the wind chill, guys, still going to be seeing those 10 to 20 below zero wind chills. Again, some of these may be conservative on Sunday across the Midwest and the Western Great Lakes, depending on how cold those temperatures do get. So we'll be tracking that. And again, those milder temperatures here are going to be going all the way south here into Mexico, Arizona, California, and South Florida at that time frame on Christmas Day. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Remember to like the video down below by giving it a thumbs up. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new. Hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast content here on this channel. Everybody have a great and safe Monday out there, and I will see you guys all in the next video.